Hey all, hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to learn about two things, asynchronous before and asynchronous after. So if you will see in the modeler, we'll have one more thing called exclusive. But in today's complete video, we are only going to understand about asynchronous before and after. So if you already know, aware of that, just skip on to the next video of the playlist. Um, but otherwise, let's try to understand from the scratch. So I'll keep my explanation aside and we'll uh, try to make a flow and then we'll try to understand. Okay so it's as simple uh, we have a simple start task and then we have a user task so if you don't know the uh, difference between the user task and service task apart from the automation thing that user task is something which uh, is to be shown by some person so that he can perform or he can complete his activity right so because of that the Kamunda has to store the user task into its database so whatever the state that Kamunda needs to store in the database, those things we called as persistent state. I hope that is clear now. Okay. So uh, with that understanding, let's move forward and uh, let's give it a name. The point async. Yeah, this is fine. Name is also fine. And with our, yeah, this is fine. One second. Okay, now let's uh, like for easy correlation while it is ha is actually happening. Let's give it a sync user task one. Okay, or let's uh, use a, a little functionality order by customer. Okay, so this is order by customer and then we have one more service task and then we have one more service task, one more user task and end event. So uh, this is our service task and we are going to say let's set up cooking, set up for cooking or something. Okay, set up cooking and then uh, this is a service task. So we need to provide some of the other kind of implementation. Otherwise, uh, nothing will happen. So uh, for our understanding, we don't need anything much. So just leave a dummy automation thing and then we'll have one more service task. So uh, let's uh, name it as um, cooking. Okay, cooking or let's say chef cooking. And yeah, now here we are going to write some script and we are going to make a mistake intentionally so as to show that if some error comes or how the asynchronous before or asynchronous after that will come into picture and help us. Okay, so we are going to uh, write uh, let's say a script oh okay let's let's let me write an expression here and one equal to one a dummy expression and in the listener I'm going to write a start script okay event type is start and the listener type is script so here let me write JavaScript and here I'm going to write some random script so of course this will not be read uh, understood by the javascript so this is going to throw error so just understand that chef cooking will be throwing error throughout the explanation throughout this tutorial and based on this we are going to understand okay now the final uh, user uh, final will be our user task here let's say this is like sir customer okay so th this is very simple now if i execute this what will happen first this is what we are going to see this is clear and then the setup cooking is going to happen in which we don't have any kind of error and while chef is cooking at that time we have intentionally uh, made some mistake to see what they or how the control goes uh, uh, without using any kind of asynchronous before or after and later on we'll see what is happening uh, with the help of asynchronous so with that uh, let us deploy this and uh, point async and this is like d point tenant id is d point and let me open that in kamunda so here i go so here if i see uh, i have a simple task with no asynchronous and if i open start uh, let's say start start process and let me say d point and I think uh, business case not required just for our understanding so the first thing that we are going to see is this order by customer so if I click on this in diagram if you can see we are on the first user task so if you have uh, an understanding of what is going to happen just try to pause a bit okay let me uh, minimize this this is not required and let me zoom out a bit 
now i hope this is clearly visible to everyone and uh, yeah now what we are expecting is the setup cooking will happen which is an automated then chef cooking will happen which is automated and then it will come to uh, because that error caused the kamunda will come back to order by customer why the reason is because order by customer is our persistent state of this workflow persistent state means the user task which is the stored which is like the stored state of this flow by the kamunda in the database i hope that makes sense so if i come here and if i refresh it we can see as of now it is here with the one blue mark and then if i simply claim this and if i try to complete it we can see we are getting some uh, error because of that random script that we have written if you don't remember uh, this is chef cooking listener start script here we have written something random which is giving us error okay now if i go back and if i refresh it you, you can see let me come back here so here what actually happened is uh, it, it it this is executed and this is executed now it is coming back to one so that we were not able to see because there was nothing like uh, that red color symbol you will be seeing uh, after we uh, store or after we come to any automation task which is a persi uh, non persistent state okay so if you didn't understand what i'm saying just hold on for a moment or two and you will get it for sure okay so this error caused and this error caused at what if you can see some random script so uh, now uh, this proof is enough that uh, uh, this was executed and then this was executed and then we came to here right so this is fine now what we are going to do is now i am going to write that this uh, script which is there no i am going to write asynchronous before so let's try to understand what is happening here then we'll try to execute and see what's happening so asynchronous before what i am saying is yes, let's talk in a layman terms so as a chef cook i am saying that whatever has happened before that is a different functionality and from me onwards that is from this task onwards that is a chef cooking onwards the functionality is completely different okay so let's try to uh, deploy this and uh, refresh i can see second version should we have come now okay so now let us okay just this is not required start process again and where is that the point and yes we don't need any business key uh, refresh this and here this is created now in the diagram we can see we are on the top and here if i refresh it we have one instance as expected okay now if we try to start form complete now what happened order by customer no this is the old one okay so if i refresh now we can see a red checkbox so what is happening if i go inside that what is happening so here what i said as a chef cooking service task that this first thing the second thing is a different functionality and this thing from here onwards a different functionality is starting that is asynchronous before so whatever happened before was an a different thing i am not waiting for it to, like asynchronous you know but here in a layman terms what i am saying is simply from here onwards the functionality is differing so before coming here okay before executing this i am asking kamunda to save this state okay so asynchronous before means i am saying that before executing me that is the uh, task on which i am choosing asynchronous before i am saying this please save my state in the database and from here onwards if something goes wrong please uh, get back to my last persistent state and uh, because i have already told that please save my state before executing my last persistent state will be the same where i have written asynchronous before i hope now this completely makes sense okay so uh, let me give you one more example so uh, this time you try to understand what will happen so as, instead of asynchronous before i'll say asynchronous after okay and i'll deploy it and this is fine now let me refresh i should be getting the third version d point async uh, one sec uh, this is unnecessary data getting created so let me just delete these process instances and the third in this what we have kept is asynchronous after so now i am saying that after this task that is me that is uh, chef cooking is getting executed after this is completed then 
please save my state uh, that that makes sense right so now let me uh, refresh and in this third I don't have anything so start process and then D point yes and now start okay now what I'm saying after the chef cooking is done then I'm asking it to save the state okay so claim complete and I see some random script error came and if I go back here I still see that I am on the first so what happened here if you understood the asynchronous before asynchronous after is definitely nothing a big thing to understand so here uh, I basically said that as a chef cooking after I am done with my execution then please save my state so but I I was not able to execute right uh, because of the error so the commander did not saved me because my intention of getting executed was not done so the next thing the next step which is asking the commander to save me was not done so what happens in this state whatever the last persistent state was there which is the user task there we came I hope this is clearly making sense now let's remove this complete thing now in, now come to setup cooking so uh, if you didn't understand so far what we have tried to understand please go back and watch from the beginning because the next thing that we are going to say is nothing but the repetition of what we said on the different task okay so here on setup cooking if I say asynchronous before so here please pause the video for a minute and see or just try to understand what could be the expected behavior and then see what is happening so that you can understand whether you literally good uh, understood the meaning or you are just uh, throwing the arrow in the dark okay so asynchronous before means what before executing me me means what setup cooking here because asynchronous before I chose in setup cooking I am asking Kamunda to please save my state that is when control comes to setup cooking please save my state and then get executed I hope this is clear and uh, now we are going to let's okay so just to assure we have the latest version as third version and now with this chain that is asynchronous before in the setup cooking we are going to deploy and let me refresh this so we have fourth version so in this we are asking before cooking please save the state now I'll go here uh, I'll just uh, remove all this unnecessary thing and D point okay now um, start uh, refresh this and here we go order by customer created a few seconds ago claim I am assuming that you will be able to understand what is going to be happen before executing let me repeat this one sentence again that I am asking uh, Kamunda please save me that is asynchronous before before getting executed on which setup cooking so I will come here and let me execute complete okay now this this is some old stuff just let me refresh this okay so here you can see what happened setup cooking got saved it got executed then it went to chef cooking where it got the error so in this case it should go back to the last persistent state and which was the setup cooking okay so here if I do asynchronous after then also it is going to give me the same behavior because this is got executed successfully so after it got executed it is going to be saved so whether I choose asynchronous before or whether I choose asynchronous after how to decide that will be dependent I will not say in general like uh, based on business requirement no yes it is based on business requirement but when I want that okay so if my uh, behavior is that I don't want this thing to get executed again and again because setup cooking is only done once instead of that I want the chef cooking to do the retry again and again okay so this is just a use case till this part our intention of uh, trying to understand asynchronous before asynchronous after is completed okay now from here what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand one more new concept so what is it so if I open this I can see something called increment number of free tries so here something failed right so I want it to get executed again and again so that is nothing but a retry so here if I try to retry definitely I'm going to get the error but if I want to like 
tell this instruction that please retry these many number of times if we get stuck anywhere in the modeler for that i am simply going to go here and i am going to do the retry time cycle so if you have seen the timer if you have not just let me tell you so this is uh, let's, let's say timer so here we have different duration date cycle formats and if you can go back in the playlist and if you can see the formats in which we are writing the duration or the cron jobs or the cycle or date anything the same thing applies for here the retry time cycle so that was all about our asynchronous before asynchronous after and the retry job and yeah that was pretty much it and if you have any queries and if you think that somewhere my explanation is leaving the track or something i missed or something i told wrong please do mention in the comment because it's like we are learning around um, you are teaching me i am teaching you so that's how sharing is happening so if you think that somewhere some something is explained my by me it doesn't make sense or it is wrong please do mention in the comment sections and uh, please do share it with as many people as possible and finally please do subscribe click on notification bell and share with as many people as possible thank you that's all for today